It's uh, Friday afternoon, October 22nd, 2010, and we're going to take a look at the S&P 500. The chart really doesn't show that much new except for one key thing that happened today that you need to know. This is being brought to you by freechartvideos.com where we use time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. This video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from what your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I am not a licensed professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. And just a quick word about those lines. A lot of people looking at the markets today are using various indicators, um, stochastics, MACD, RSI, you name it, just, just all kinds of different uh, 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 indicators that are generally derived from uh, some form of interaction between moving averages. And, uh, and they're getting the markets wrong, I'll be honest with you. They're just flat getting them wrong. And they keep saying, well, we got a bearish, a bearish divergence, but the markets keep going up. Or they say, well, you know, the stochastics look really, really overbought here, but the markets keep going up. Uh, I've been to some websites where folks have been calling for a huge correction since uh, S&P 850. And here we are, 1180, going back up, it appears, for a new high. And yet, they're still looking for that big bear correction, some of, some of whom even calling for the S&P uh, to be around 400 in short order. Well, maybe not in short order, but eventually. Uh, forget all that. I use old school methods that just draw lines on charts. That's what I do. I will look at moving averages, however, and in a little bit, we're going to take a look at uh, the daily chart and some moving average information. We're still in this channel between the dark green lines. <coughs> We've been there for, uh, um, uh, for over a month and a half. The channel seems to be working very well as we look at a, uh, at a little bit tighter view of this. You can see that this green line, which I did not think we were going to surpass, uh, we did get over that briefly yesterday, but it got slammed back down. I've drawn this line here just for reference. Uh, I don't know that that's going to have anything of great value or not. But uh, we got a bottom and a bottom. Eh, just curious to see if maybe we bounce off this and maybe head up this way. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we had a day that was extremely range bound. It was just, uh, it's funny, it's almost like we wanted to be at this 1180, 1182-ish level, but then we rallied, but it was too early, so we came back, we kicked around, then we came back here, and now we finally got back right here. It's almost as if this was a string, and somebody plucked it, and it went up, and it came down, and then it came back to where it wanted to be all along. So... Uh, I take that as, as good news uh, when you when you look at uh, at the 1180 level as support compared to not that long ago it seemed to many to be unattainable now that's uh, kind of what's going on with the uh, with the s p action today uh, pretty basic stuff uh, by the way TNA had a good day and uh, I may do an update on that uh, chart and get it out before the open on uh, Monday morning the uh, 25th. Now, let's take a look at a moving average. Okay, here's our daily chart. And uh, again, I'll point out just some important features. This is the neckline of this inverted head and shoulders pattern. This is the implied target from the depth of this pattern at approximately 1250. I'm officially calling for for bragging rights purposes, 1240 to 1250. And, um, but I've also got something on this chart that I don't always show, and that is moving averages. I've got this kind of teal colored line right here. It's the 50-day it's the uh, 
moving average and it is a, a daily moving average because I'm on the daily chart and then I've got this dark uh, kind of reddish ruddy colored line that's the 200 day now uh, you might zoom in here you have to go real close but uh, looky here we just today crossed the 50 day over the 200 day and this is known uh, among traders as, as a golden cross. We, uh, we were on the verge of this for the past couple days, but today those lines did indeed cross. Now, does that mean the markets go up from this point like just skyrocket? No. Sometimes you get this cross, and then things pull back a little bit. Because remember, this is the average price over a number of days, and we've had a rally here lately. So uh, the, it is being an average, the, um, the these lines don't always correlate exactly to price movement. For example, this big down day right here, you don't see anything much happen in this line. So anyway, uh, let, let's uh, take a little historical perspective. Just so you know, over the past 10 years, I think there have been uh, less than 10 golden crosses uh, that imply bullish moves and only one of those failed to produce a significant bullish gain so bears take notice this is a oh, this is a shot across your bow right here if we get any more mustard on this market uh, Monday Tuesday or Wednesday of next week this will start to be something that people can easily see on a chart instead of having to zoom in on it like I just did. I'll do it again. There it is. Your golden cross. Um, I'm using a simple 50-day and a simple 200-day moving average. And uh, I hope this helps you uh, understand what's going on in the markets. And when you get a chance, visit the website Free Chart Videos. Dot com, And if you want to link directly to the uh, S&P analysis section, the URL you can use for that is sp500chart.com. Thanks for listening and uh, look for more videos every day.